Dear booksellers, I know you do a tremendous job in promoting literature all over France and I hope that you will also be able to uh, promote my book, Les Lies, which will appear in, uh, be published in September, I think it is. It's a novel about one of the least known aspects of the Second World War, maybe the least known wars at all, the war against that the Nazis fought against the inferior people, uh, the inner war, you could say, fought against those people who were sick or feeble of mind and body, those who were considered ill, deformed or racially impure. One of the fronts in this war was the Spiegelgrund Clinic at the huge psychiatric ward of Steinhof in Vienna. When Hitler uh, annexed Austria in 1938, this huge psychiatric clinic was transformed into a station or a, uh, something like a hospital where euthanasia, the willing killing of uh, victims, were performed on a regular basis from the beginning in 1938 to 1945. Um, nine, a huge part of, of, of this clinic, almost 13 pavillons were um, uh, adopted to, to take care of children. And it's about this children clinic that my novel is about. The novel has many, many characters. It's a huge amount of characters in the book. Uh, but it has two main protagonists. One is one of the children that were brought to this clinic. His name is Adrian Ziegler. He is not ill, deformed or handicapped in any way. His only crime in this regard is that his father was a drunk and alcoholic and his mother couldn't take care of his family. And that was considered enough to be brought to this clinic. The other main protagonist is Anna Kachenka, uh, who starts her career at the Spiegel Group clinic as a nurse and then slowly advances to become a head nurse and one of those responsible for the actual killing taking place at this clinic. The novel is seen or told or narrated through the perspectives of both these, the victim and you can say the perpetrator. But I think that one of the things that you can take with you from this novel is that it's not so easy sometimes to discern where the, the, the border is between uh, the victim and the perpetrator. Uh, in order to survive, also the inmates at the clinic had to behave towards the other children as oppressors. And also uh, the nurses and uh, not the doctors maybe, but the nurses at the clinic could be seen as being victims of the system. They were not voluntary there, many of them, and many of them were also um, forced to carry out things that they would normally never do. I hope that this book will uh, serve not only as a moral reminder of the atrocities of the Second World War, but also hopefully uh, as a book that tends to talk more about the way we actually survive in human conditions and uh, can be able to stand with both feet on the ground even during the hardest uh, circumstances. My book is basically not about a book about death and um, destruction but more a book about survival and maybe in the end also hope. Uh, the novel is taking place from 1938 until up to now these years that we have now. So uh, you can see uh, not only what happened during the Second World War, but also the consequences of this war and those who had to live with the consequences up to these days. Thank you.